Welcome to another class in this series of Ibn Ezra on the Pirasha. This week, Pirashat Vayakel. My name is Rabbi Nathan Dweck. And in this week's class, we will look at the women's mirrors that were used for the kior, for the laver, and its pedestal. Kior the Kano. The Torah states in chapter 38, verse 8, Right, Besalel made the kior, the laver of copper, and its pedestal, kano of copper, with the copper of the mirrors of the congregating woman who congregated, and here they put in the English to bring their contributions at the entrance of the tent of meeting. But again, a couple of questions here, right? What were these marot? What were these mirrors? originally used for, what does it mean that they gathered at the entrance of Ohel Mu'ed? What exactly is going on here? Ibn Ezra explains that Ta'ama Sobe'ot, what does that mean that they gathered? Well, the Mar'ot has Sobe'ot, the mirrors of the woman, Kimishpat Kola Nashim, why these mirrors? Well, all women would usually use these mirrors to look more beautiful. They would see their face every morning with a copper mirror or a glass mirror. In order to fix the head coverings that they wore, they would use these mirrors. And Ibn Ezra mentions that these are the mirrors, or these, this is the use that's mentioned in Sefer Yeshaya in chapter three, that the woman would fix their pe'erot, would fix their head coverings. Right, just like Minhag uh, Ishmael, the Arab woman covered the hair as well, the Jewish woman, and therefore they would use mirrors in order to beautify themselves and to take a look at how they looked in order to become more beautiful. And therefore, Vehine Hayubi Israel. From B'nai Israel, there were women, Nashim of Dot Hashem. They were women who served God. They removed themselves from the desires of this world. Therefore, they gave their mirrors as a donation to the Mikdash, to the Sorech of Avodat Hashem, as Rabbi Abraham and Harambam as well mentions. Because they don't have any more of a need with this physical beauty and the materialism. Rather, therefore, they donated what was a representation of physical beauty to be used by the Mishkan for the worship of God. Why these women? What did they do? Why are they called Sobeot? Again, the Marot is understood, the mirrors. What does this mean, the women that were Sobeot, that would gather? Rakba'ot yom yom, rather they came each day, el petah olmoed, lehit palel, to pray. Right, where do we see that? If you look at Targum Onkelos on the Pasuk, he says in the Aramaic, again, the Onkelos translated the Torah into Aramaic and became an accepted translation of the Pesukim in the Torah. Va'avad yat kiora nehasha, v'yat besiseh, Nehasha, right? Besalel, as we translated before, he made the kior and its base out of copper. The mirrors of the woman. That came to do what? What is Asher Sabeu? That came to pray at the entrance to the Mishkan. So again, now we see here that Onkelos had an accepted tradition here in the translation of the Pasuk, that it means the Atyan Salaa, that these women came to pray. And Ibn Ezra adds to it, the Lishmawa Dibreha Misvot. And if you look at the Hiskuni on the Pasuk, they came to pray and to hear the praises of God from the Kohanim and Levim. And where the mitzvot come from? From the words from the Kohanim Lirim, they're the teachers of B'nai Israel, as the Sephorno mentions. So again, they're coming to the Mishkan to pray and to hear Torah mitzvot. V'zehu, and this is what means, 
And again, this pasuk got very wordy. If you look at the pasuk carefully, right, he made the kior and the kano out of nehoshet with the mirrors of those who gather, that gathered at the entrance to the, to the Mishkan. What's this, that gather or that gathered? We already know, skip the words, asher sabu. just say, petah omoed, rather, why are they gathering? What does this mean? Because many of them did, asher sabu, because there were many women who turned themselves into avodat Hashem from what, Many women would use for their physical beauty, now is being used to make the kior vechano. And therefore, I think the next, uh, the next comment of Ibn Ezra is very telling. There's no measurement mentioned with the kior. There is no measurement given with the kior in the Mishkan, as opposed to the measurements given with the kiorim that Shalomo made. And, and why is that? Well, I think it's important to realize that the signs was dependent on the donations of this, these women, as if to say here that it's their donations exactly matching how many donations were given and how much nehoshet they had as a result of those donations is what precisely made up the measurement of the kior. And the kior was used for the Kohanim to purify themselves in order to enter the Mishkan, in order to enter the Mikdash. So now we have, again, the marot, the mirrors that could be used for physical beauty are turned into the mitzvah and this mitzvah is about focusing yourself for worship of God, which makes sense. The women focus themselves away from the physical in order to focus themselves for the worship of God. And therefore, the item that it was used for was about purifying yourself in order as a Kohen, in order to enter the Mishkan for the Avodah, Right, purifying yourself for something about worshiping Hakadosh Baruch Hu. and the Khan, and also, I mean, as I mentioned, the Khan, the stand Shua Mechune the Olam who Kemidata Kiyor Bechinam Mishpat, and as big as the size was of the laver of the Kiyor, that's the size essentially. If you have a bigger Kiyor, you would have a bigger stand. But again, ultimately, these women teaching us an important message about us moving ourselves away from materialistic habits and materialistic desires and pushing ourselves to use that which is materialistic, and to use it towards the avodah of the bore. Is anything physical of this world that we're asked to use to take a wine, for an example, can be used even though it's physical for the simha of avodah takadosh parachu with mitzvot and with Torah, so here as well, the women are able to push themselves and therefore their gift is accepted and used for this mitzvah of preparing the kohanim for avodah in the mishkan. Baruch Adonai Amen Amen.